handy dandy timer. So, oh, okay, handy dandy timer has been put down. So I just finished watching the uh, third Resident Evil movie, the Resident Evil Apocalypse, and this is my last installment on the Resident Evil franchise review wise. That makes sense. So, I'm gonna put down one thing real quick right here. I don't like crows. They scare me. I don't know, nah, that's a lie. I know why I don't like crows. They're big, they caw, they're black, they're everywhere, and I watched The Birds when I was three, which was kind of a bad life choice, but don't like crows. Making them zombie crows in movies does not help matters. Oh, I'm so afraid of crows right now. Crows. Disturbing. Scary things. Okay. Now, to Resident Evil Apocalypse. So the movie begins with Alice walking down this corridor, and she's in her red dress. She's in, in the first movie. And it's kind of like a flashback moment from the first movie. Like, she's walking down hallways that she's walked down in the first movie, and suddenly, suddenly this, like, hovercraft thing comes up, spins around, and it has little guns in it, and it shoots her, and she falls down dead, and you're like, what? Uh, but don't worry, it's a clone Alice. Alice has clones. Alice doesn't have clones. Scientists who are evil have clones of Alice, who die, while Alice does not. Anyway, so then you see the real Alice, and she's in Salt City, and, um, she has a motorcycle, and she's been shooting, you know, zombies. And then you see a caravan, not with Alice, but a caravan of a bunch of trucks with a bunch of survivors. And, um, it's like a three-part movie. It's divided into three parts. And then, like, Alice has nightmares, and it's shown that she can pick up rocks with her mind. She has mind powers. Oh, I love these movies. I really do. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Bond well with the T-Virus people. Bond well. You'll get mind powers. Anyway. Um. So, I'm in like the first three minutes of the movie and I've already used up three minutes of my time. Okay, I'm going over it in this video as well. Time limit? Shh, my limit. <laughs> that made sense. I'm just kind of rambling today, so I'm going to talk faster. So, um, Alice is dreaming, and she has nightmares, and she lifts up her all quits her minds, and then the caravan stops at this, like, shanty, and one of the people from the last movie gets bitten, and you're like, no, you're gonna be a zombie! And apparently zombie becoming rates of greatly increased. It used to be like, you're gonna be a zombie in three hours. Now it's like, you're gonna be a zombie in like two days. So, no worries there. Um, so, he gets bitten, a bunch of stuff, hap stuff happens. Everyone sleeps in their cars because they don't want to be crept in upon on zombies at night. That made sense. In my mind, it did. Um, so everyone's sleeping in their cars and this girl, Walmart, not Walmart, Kmart. Her name's Kmart. That's where they found her. She didn't want to use her last name. She didn't like it. So they call her Kmart. She, like, wakes up and she hears, like, this tapping sound. And she's like, what is that? So she opens the door and there's this huge crow and she freaks out. And she's like, oh my god! Because she is smart and she doesn't like freaking crows. No one should like crows. They're evil. Um, and she gets back in the car and she's like, hey, hey, friend of mine who's, I can't remember your name, and you're in the fourth movie as well, and you're important, and you run the caravan, and whatever the hell your name is. Wake up, wake up, there's a bunch of creepy-ass crows out there, and she's like, what are you talking about? So she wakes up, and they all have, like, handheld radios to each other's car, and she's just like, guys, don't go, don't go out of the car, and everyone wakes up, and was like, why? Why don't we want to go out of the car? And it, like, does that pan-up shot of the area they're in, and there are, like, birds on telephone wires, and birds on buildings, and birds on... There are thousands of crows thousands just like stand sitting there and she's just like be very quiet guys so they're on a there's a bus and a little kid is on the bus because there are a bunch of survivors including this little kid and a couple little kids and a bunch of people and he has a soda can and it like falls and the crow kroger just goes Kah! not like that but 
and all the crows attack the bus and everyone else is like we have to evacuate the bus because the bus windows are going insane because it's insane how fast and strong those crows are so they evacuate the bus and a bunch of people get killed not a bunch like five so you know a bunch but um not in these movies but here in real life it would be a bunch um and like five people die from insane crows and then it's f insane how fast they can kill people and then there's a flamethrower and they're killing crows and i'm just saying burnt up crows must not smell very good especially burnt up zombie crows back to point that was my five minute dinger i'm not i'm totally going over the time limit since i'm like halfway through the movie okay so alice appears and is like oh my god look crows Mind powers, blows all the crows up, sets them all on fire. There's like crow dust falling. Crow ashes. Crow ashes falling. That just sounds like a band name or something. Crow ashes. Um, the ashes of crows. I'm way too... Okay. So, then she's like, dude, I know some of you guys. You were in the last movie. Not exactly how she says it, but you know. You know what she's thinking. Um... And they're like, dude, why did you leave? We helped you out of that weird facility. And she was like, turns out Umbrella was tracking me. Couldn't put you in danger. Satellites, yada, yada, yada. Throughout this whole time, there's this crazy ass scientist killing all these clones, trying to find a cure for um, the zombie stuff. And Alice's blood is apparently the cure, except the clones aren't working. So, side note. Um, and then like, they're tracking her with a new satellite, and they know she's out there. So, Alice gets together with all the people who are the convoy people and says, we need to go to Las Vegas because it's the only place that we we know of that will have gas for certain because every else, everywhere else has been, like, raided by survivors and there's no gas at little gas stations. And so, um, I have a mosquito bite on my hand and it's hurting. So, she go, they go to Las Vegas and everything's covered in dirt. And they're going, wow, this is weird. So, they said post a sentry and then there's like a big garbage can truck thing. Like the ones you had at your uh, yard sale. The huge ones. And like Alice goes up to it and goes, what the hell? Oh, God. Guys, get back. Get away from this thing and get your guns out. So, everyone does and... Me thinking, it's a liquor. It's a huge T-virus monster thing. It's not. It's just a bunch. It's just a crap load of zombies who have been, like, genetically modified by the insane scientist guy. And they're all camped up on the top of this roof going, okay, let's remote control these things. Anyway. Um, so they're all killing zombies. A bunch of people die. Some fun. Alice is like... They turn Alice off because they can do that. Because they want her to die so they can get a blood sample so they can cure everything. But Alice, like, fights the system and is like, off. I'm off. I'm up. I'm going to kill everything. So she goes to the roof, kills a bunch of scientists. The crazy-ass scientist gets away. They go to their secret facility. A bunch of people die. There's another computer girl. Except she's better looking than the first one. First movie. Red Queen. Anyway. I think she's the white queen in this. Because she's wearing white. Anywho. Um. So she kills the crazy ass scientist guy. Who's been mo uh, genetic. Been bitten by a genetically modified. Um. Zombie. So he's insane. And then Alice is like. Walking away from the fight. And then sees billions of Alice clones. I don't know if they're billions, but there are lots of them. Lots of Alice clones. And she's like, okay. So she goes on a computer conference with all the Umbrella Corporation people. And is like, so I'm coming for you. And I'm bringing some friends. And that's the movie. Watch it. Linking. Links, 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 links. Links. Ah!